welcome to drinking from the caffeine fire hose we know it showed on. Um, anybody recognize that slide? Anybody watch old Weird Al movies? Um, all right, so a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Dan. People call me Vis. Um, I'm a freelance pen test guy. Uh, this is not just another Shodan talk. Today we're going to be turning Shodan into a gateway drug. Um, so normally what people put on the internet is what Shodan will find, and that's kind of boring. It's been two years now. We know you can find switches and routers and servers and cameras and stuff like that. What else is there? So I don't know that anybody's actually doing this yet, um, and I don't think that there's any kind of accountability, so I figured I'd, I'd poke that bear. So a little bit on editorial policy. Um, anybody uh, work for an organization that prevents you from scanning yourself, like uh, under penalty of death, no end mapping, or we'll drag you out to the parking lot and set you on fire. So, so the bad guys can scan us, but I can't scan us? Rad. Um, if you don't know your own, own attack surface, then you're, you're crippling yourself against the bad guys, right? So um, before we get started, this is entirely read-only. Um, yes, I was connecting to random stuff on the internet, but it was for screenshots only. There was no changes made, nothing like that. No, no systems were altered, entirely read-only. So first and foremost, let's get straight to the fun stuff. A lot of cameras, like thousands, tens of thousands of cameras. Uh, these are March Networks cameras, which are really funny. And when I connected to this camera, um, I saw something uh, that seemed pretty interesting, that there's a dude looking at monitors that appear to have exactly what I'm looking at on them. So, who watches the watchers? Me. I watch the watchers. Um, skater gear, that's popular, right? Let's beat up on that. So, skater gear on webcams. Well, okay, you have a skate, you have skate equipment. It's bad juju to put skate equipment on the internet, so we know. Uh, so, put a camera on it and put that on the internet. Great move. Um, other random stuff on webcams. Um, this is some German thing counting cubic meters of gas, okay? Um, but generally speaking, cameras are horrifically, horrifically boring. At the moment, I have about 3,900 cameras, and when I look at them in a browser, it kills my cable modem, and it looks just like this. Um, people's garages, old dude in a living room, boring. I mean, this is, yay, InfoSec, right? Um, and then I came across something like this. What on earth is this thing? Um, what is a T2000? Who's rely on? I've never heard of these guys. What's the deal? So Google to the rescue. Um, it's a hydrogen fuel cell that's used for industrial stuff that you can telnet into with no creds. That's fun. I didn't know you could telnet into these things. It looks pretty industrial. Um, you can find bountiful documentation about the thing online. Um, a lot of military installations tend to use this thing and they're apparently happy with you know, random PDFs on the internet containing what military installations use this thing. Great. You can telnet into them. Uh, here's how you use it. Um, a, a, how you, your simple electrical connection diagram, right? Um, so, you know, where would you normally find these things? Like, okay, now I know this thing and I know you can tell that into it and I know you can find it randomly on the internet by looking for five minutes. Um, that's where you find them. Okay. Um, and other things that you'll connect to randomly on the internet that are not servers and, and switches and routers, uh, the security is horrifically, horrifically bad. Here's an example of a, of a file that I pulled off of, I think it was a, uh, an energy meter of some kind that uh, you could, the link to this file existed in the source code off the main index.html, and if you just hit, hit this thing with wget, and you literally open it in VI, I, I won't tell you what the password is, but it's there and it's in clear text. Thanks, dudes. Um, wind farms, like uh, giant fans that generate power from wind, this one's generating 37 amps, not bad. Uh, lighting, HVAC, alarm systems, this is some cathedral something I found, no creds, you just hit it with the browser and it shows you, here's our stuff and here's the temperature everything is. Um, even down to the room, you can find out what temperature different rooms are and you can find out, you can, you can mess with them if you really want to. Um, power meters, uh, and some of these things, this is really cool, the graphs, I'll come back to you later, but you can do trending based on the stuff that you find here. Like if you really wanted to be ultra creeper mode, you can like watch these graphs and see when people turn their lights on and when people turn their lights off. And it, yeah, it gets creepy. Uh, heat pumps, which this, is, this starts getting into the interesting side of things, where with heat pumps, um, this is what you'd see you know, in, in a building or a large hotel or something like that, where, where you have this giant thing and it's feeding multiple ducts in multiple rooms. No creds, point a browser at it, good to go, right? Um, and they get bigger. And this one, this one, it's got three water heaters, it's got some sprinklers, it's got a pump, it's got some other stuff. Okay, this is getting interesting, right? 
private residences, like really rich people tend to use these things because it's like kind of a home automation thing. It's kind of cool to hit your house with a web browser and like turn the lights on in your garage or something. I don't know. But um, uh, they exist, yeah. Um, so there's trending data in a lot of these things where you can, you can identify at what times peak, uh, uh, power goes up and down, at what times lights go on and off, at what times um, air conditioning turns on and off and things like that. Um, this one was for a uh, solar water heater and you can see how the hot water comes in and it goes through different water heaters and it goes up to the, the, the panels on the roof and it comes out and you can see the temperatures and you can see the pumps and this will complain at you if the pumps malfunction and things like that, so that's fun. Um, familiar displays, and you see that little um, thermostat there in the, in the bottom right hand corner, anybody ever seen one of those things? <laughs> um, I was in a, I was a tra uh, traffic court last year um, doing traffic school for something silly I did on the road and uh, for the life of us we couldn't figure out why um, why the room was so in incredibly cold and it had one of these things on it. And every time we went and turned the temperature up so that it wasn't like 50 degrees, it went back down again. And after finding this, I sat there on my couch going, oh, I see, there was probably some kid two rooms away going, ha, 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 Glorious. So, you know, you see those things, you know that they're connected to a bigger system. That's the more you know, rainbow. Um, more power systems. Uh, power systems that will aggregate, like for apartment buildings, um, they'll aggregate the readings from power meters. Um, read only, you can't really do much with it. You can't, there's no input, but it's interesting stuff, I guess. Um, larger industrial systems like the Siemens systems, um, uh, these things, the same sort of deal. Uh, they, they have a, who would, who would look at that and say, I'm gonna put a web server on that. This seems like a good idea. Well, somebody did. And now they're on the internet by the tens of thousands. Um, in some of these cases, when you start getting into these larger infrastructures, like you start getting into, oh, this, these are boilers that control hotels and giant industrial buildings. So now you get into the whole contents under pressure. So you start hesitating from the keyboard a bit, saying, these water heaters have their own little security measures in them, because really you could do some damage with this if you wanted to. Um, so I found a whole bunch of stuff, right? And, and a lot of it's kind of ADD, some of it's actionable, but you know, what, what can you actually do with this stuff? Well, OSINT is fashionable, so let's do that, right? So level one, simple recon, right? Creeper mode level level zero. Um, you can install a, a, a tool that I'm, I was using called Chrome Ultimate Flag, which will tell you a little bit about the IP address that you're visiting in the browser. You click the thingy, and it tells you the IP address and the city and stuff like that. Well, that's crafty to know if you found 10,000 webcams and all you can see is just the square with the video. There's no extraneous information. There's no exit or anything like that. So it's cool to know what, at least what city it's in. So, you know, you look at a camera, your camera system like this, and you, you know, what, what details can we see? Okay, well, it's daylight, you know, you look outside, it's daylight, there's somewhere within some kind of time zone, they're near you, whatever. Um, you look at, maybe you can zoom in on the license plates, and you can see what state they're in, something like that. Uh, but in the top right of the frame, uh, on, in the, on the, the top right photo here, you can see that the camera is pointed at the door, and the door has the company logo on it. So that was as easy as just taking a screenshot and horizontally flipping it, right? Um, and uh, off to the right, you can see that there's a desk and a computer, and that particular camera was pan, tilt, zoom. So uh, with, with no creds, uh, you can log into the system and pan, tilt, zoom around the camera in the lobby of this company. So I did. Um, <laughs> and I, didn't, I don't want to get anybody in trouble, so I blacked out the name of the place, but you can, what's the text under the little black box there? It says security integrators. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> Um, so, you know, based on the name of the company and what state I, I could see that they were in, I did a little bit of homework, and this is how far Google Street View got me. So this is like, okay, this is still creeper, creeper mode level zero, right? So let's go to creeper mode level one, uh, interaction. Yeah, so now that you have, that you find stuff on, on camera, find stuff on the internet, what can you do if you just wanted to reach out and, and, and touch them just a little bit? So I didn't do any of this. This came to me after um, I published sort of my first blog post with my script and some of the code that I used to generate this stuff, um, and I thought it was pretty funny, but uh, there were people that um, found a pizza place somewhere, and I'm not sure how, found out the name of the pizza place and ended up on the phone with them doing a bunch of social engineering, and they, and they found some really bored people at like two in the morning in the back to hold up signs for the security cameras. <laughs> so there's security cameras at a pizza place. Um, that are exposed to the internet, and some randoms on the internet found them, called the place, and started having them hold up signs. I thought that was hilarious, and like they were very open to this. Like that's that's the girl on the phone with the caller watching the camera, and this photo, this screenshot came from the person on the other side. Awesome. So I mean, you know, it's simple, and it was pretty like pretty benign, but you could see how social engineering in, in, in this light could be, 
you know, pretty hardcore. Um, so, you know, level three, you, you guys ever see Die Hard 4? It's kind of silly, they were driving around a truck, hacking stuff, okay, well, this is kind of like that, except without Justin Long and like the pretty assassin, Asian chick lady. Um, so this guy did it with a, a, you know, several million dollars and like a truck full of equipment and like a black ops team and all this fun stuff. Well, I did it with like my laptop and a bunch of coffee, so let's do that, right? Um, though this was essentially, if you remember the movie, it was just a gigantic social engineering campaign at the end, right? But the minute you find a device that has talent open that will let you shoot down a helicopter with a car, I will pen test that system for free. <laughs> so, um, massive cooling equipment. This is a warehouse I found somewhere in Central America that had 14 gigantic evaporative coolers connected to it. This was like a food storage, um, this is a food storage uh, facility somewhere or some kind of, I'm, it could have been medical storage uh, facility, uh, but each one of these evaporative coolers presumably could cool a room like this. Um, so the, the, the panel has details, the panel will, uh, some of these listen on VNC <laughs> um, and, you can, and you can connect to them and, and, and get specific data on what their names are and what buildings they're talking to and things like that. So if you're doing pen tests and, and uh, uh, you, you want to do recon on a, on a target and maybe it's a retail organization or something like that, this is interesting stuff that gets overlooked a lot. Um, some of these things actually keep logs, which is really funny because once you get in and it's completely open, um, there are names of, <laughs> the names of the laptops of the people that run the thing. So like entirely without trying or, or by happenstance, I'm doing, like there's, in, intelligence leakage happening through these the SCADA equipment. Um, this one was a pretty hilarious find. Uh, anybody familiar with Liebert, the company Liebert? They make giant UPS things and data centers. You can put them in test mode from the internet. Test mode turns off the battery. <laughs> what happens when you do that to a data center? <laughs> People get angry. I didn't do it, but man. Um, some of these, like I mentioned earlier, have VNC touch panels, this one. Uh, this one has some sort of liquid control flow valve operation and you can, you can pause and change the flow of the chart and you can also modify, um, well, I didn't really go much farther than this thing, but you, presumably you can change the, the flow rate of the valves that operate this thing. Um, this thing is, uh, the, the numbers are reading out somewhere between like 2,000 and 2,500 on the top end. Now I don't know if that's feet or meters or, or what, but like a water pump that has these kind of figures associated to it might be doing something interesting. Um, so, okay, it's interesting, right? But it's not really like a fire sale like a movie, right? Well, neat Ilon. So Ilon is kind of neat. Ilon is, is, a, is, a, is a piece of hardware that was made um, to control um, LawnWorks networks. Now LawnWorks was something that you have industrial equipment that needs to talk, um, but people didn't feel right putting it on the internet. So they made their own network thing. They made their own network topography, or topology I should say, for, for this sort of thing, and they call it LawnWorks. Um, and then, like with everything else, somebody took a web server and, and Ethernet and put that on top of the thing that wasn't supposed to be on the network. Um, and these, hilariously, are stackable, just like Evo hats. Um, you can have one of these controllers talking to 500 more, or in this case, three dozen more. Um, this is a controller that I stumbled across randomly, um, and they have several, you can see some, I blanked out there are several IP addresses because I don't want to get anybody in trouble, but um, when you, when you uh, open this little, uh, the little plus symbol there and, and, and the, the sub menu items come in, um, they look kind of interesting. One of them I saw was uh, Gigantium, so I'm like, oh, that looks cool. So let's Google that. What's Gigantium? Oh, it's a stadium thing, and under that wood is an ice rink that you can defrost if you want. <laughs> Okay, I said it was random. Yeah, oh, believe me. Um, so this, this is a place, it's kind of like the San Diego Convention Center. They host big things here and they have stadium seating and all their alarms and all their lights and the garage doors and all of the interesting stuff that you hear about in the movies is connected to this system. No, no, no creds, no passwords, nothing. You hit it with a browser, holy crap. Um, conveniently, they have um, a floor plan for you should you decide to target a particular area? Um, so I went back to the list and kept looking like, oh, this is glorious, what, what, what else could there be? Um, so there's this strand camping place that has water slides and lots of solar equipment and I can't imagine that their, their uh, Ilon systems are um, you know, controlling much other than maybe um, 
water, or not water, sorry, um, the water slides, maybe the valves there, and maybe some of the solar power stuff, but that's interesting that, you know, Troy hit it with a web server. Um, another one that's like another sort of camping place that has uh, a cabin that you can rent, and that's, that based on the website here, this place actually looks kind of cool. Um, it's a facility that's somewhere out in, in Europe that you can, you know, rent, and they market this to Americans, so you can uh, you can go take a vacation there. That's kind of fun. Um, so that's that's fun. Um, I can control ice, the, the ice skating rink, the lights, the HVAC, the power, garage door, water pressure, boilers of something like 37 businesses in some downtown uh, part of or some some city that will remain nameless in Europe. I'm getting a little bit closer <laughs> to the movie, but in the movie they were able to control stoplights and signs and things like that. Well, that's cool, I got you covered. Um, Car light, listening on Telnet. These are intersections, like stoplights. You can Telnet into them and put them in test mode. And the warning says, don't do this, you can kill people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, auto plate, another fun one. These are the uh, red light cameras that photograph your car uh, um, and uh, OCR your license plate and send it off to the cops. These are glorious because you can tell them to them and tell them to send the pictures elsewhere. No creds. And, and what's really funny is if you look at, if you look at this screenshot, it says, it, it's somewhere near the bottom, as I say, with no security. It actually says, yeah, there it is. It's like right in the center with one of the, second line with the asterisk. Basic VEZ system with no security. Awesome. So, um, Dactronics, these guys I gotta give them a thumbs up for because absolutely nothing was listening and everything was protected. Um, but these guys make signs that do this sort of stuff over freeways. So, they are also listening on port 80 and you can also tell that into these, but they're not, I'll just give you a password prompt. So, you can't really see anything. So, read light, or read only, you know, so, okay, that's where I stopped. So, now we got red light, cameras, road signs, stop lights, check. Uh, what else is, let's do some current events. Anybody remember RuggedCom? RuggedCom was a fun one, right? So um, if you hit a RuggedCom box with a, a web browser, you see something like this. Um, anybody want to take guesses at what those passwords might be? Because um, they send them to you and then they obfuscate them. So if you view the source or you have any browser plugins that will deobfuscate passwords, there you go. Um, and then the next one actually was an interesting one. The next one was like, uh, anybody familiar with like those movies where some hacker dude does something and then his phone blows up and it's the government and they're like, hey hacker guy, yeah that actually happens. Um, so I hit this and um, I said, oh that totally, that's, I mean, that's not malware or anything. Ah, some kid defaced something. Like, oh yeah, look at all those Java applets that I'm not gonna let run, okay, next. I took, took a screenshot and I put it on Twitter, next. Um, I had a discussion with a, a gentleman that, that paid me afterwards and said, no, 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 that's actually safe. You, you, can, you can run that. I'm like, <laughs> whatever you say, dude. He says, no, no, seriously, seriously, it's not bad. You, you can run it. Fine. Spin up a VM, take a snapshot, pop this thing open. It looks like this. Oh. Are those megawatts? <laughs> yeah, those are megawatts. This is a hydroelectric plant in Fumel, France, with their skating equipment open to the internet. Um, and they have two turbines, and each turbine is generating something like three megawatts each. Oh, that's kind of a big deal. Um, I didn't put this screenshot on Twitter, but uh, the gentleman I was talking to said, yeah, you're going to get a call from some interesting people. I'm like, yeah, some dude's saying that to me on Twitter randomly, whatever. No, 8.45 the next morning, ring, ring, hi, my name's Anthony, I'm calling from ICS CERT, I'm with the department of DHS, I'm like, oh, Christ. <laughs> Here we go, what size cuffs do I need, right? Um, he's actually a really cool guy, I have yet to meet him, he's wandering around here somewhere. But uh, yeah, we're supposed to get drinks, hilariously. Um, so that, that was interesting. That was a, a, one of those occasions that you hear about where the, the, the feds call the hacker guy, but like it doesn't end in the dude going to jail. Awesome. Um, so uh, satellite systems also listen on these things, and, and hilariously, they're a lot more boring than you'd think. Like, ever since I was a kid, I'm like, yeah, I want to get into satellites. Wow, this is lame. <laughs> they're just, it's like cereal, but over radio. It's, it, 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 but they're open, they're listening, and you can see how many frames go back and forth. This, I think this was a, a television setup somewhere in Europe that, you know, completely open. Um, this one was new, NAS storage array, Synology. This came out recently, like three weeks ago. Um, you get one of those storage arrays from Fry's or wherever, and it's a networked device, and you can, uh, you can plug it in and do NAS and, and uh, SMB and NFS to it. Awesome. Uh, you go ahead and put that on the internet, too. Um, this one was glorious. I, I was in tears laughing. You can tell that into a car wash. 
what the hell? I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah. Oh God, no, technical difficulties. Yeah, that was, that was interesting. Um, you can tell any of these. So I, the first thing that came to me was like, oh yeah, now here's a Mission Impossible stuff. You have your, you have your, uh, your foreign diplomat going through the car wash and you like put the barriers up and spray them with soap or, you know, send dudes with guns in. Um, this one was, this one was doubly hilarious. This is uh, massive humidifier systems that are in hospitals and industrial settings and other, like these things are the size of like three or four refrigerators side to side. They're six feet tall, 10 feet wide, three feet deep, and they make vapor. Um, so you think, okay, that's not so interesting. So they have a marketing video where you can connect directly to the board. They have no idea what, what they're doing. But um, uh, their advertising, or the marketing material cl claim, boasts that their equipment is in the White House. Okay. Good to know. Search that for later. Um, emergency telco gear, like like VoIP stuff that that uh, first responders uh, use, is open and listening on the internet. Okay, you want to put some fake nine one one calls in? Rock it. You can do that. This is what the interface looks like. Um, and then occasionally, um, some really, 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 really old like forerunner kind of stuff comes around and you see stuff like this, which I'll give you a second to read and if anybody can spot the hilarity in here, please point and yell. Yeah, support for Netscape 6, guys. Mm. This code was taken from GeoCities, holy crap. Did you know speakers have web servers? <laughs> this one, you can send it a, an MP3 and it will play it. <laughs> <laughs> Troll mode activate. Um, a wine cooler. A gigantic, ridiculous wine cooler that has a champagne alarm. In a giant hotel somewhere. Okay, rad. Even more, like, this is great stuff. Um, orphaned, it's, it's just funny. During pen tests, it would be absolutely, I cannot wait to put this kind of stuff in a report. So thinking longer term, um, I mentioned the trading, uh, trending stuff earlier. Uh, there are tools in, in the, the better equipment that will let you trend over months and weeks and things like that. So you can start building profiles on these things that you find when people come in, when people leave, when the alarms go off, when the alarms are turned on, when the gates open and shut, all sorts of really creepy stuff for doing profiling or, or long-term investigations or anything like that. So scanning the whole network, uh, internet is, is getting a lot easier. We can do this stuff. We can measure it now. Um, if anybody saw any of my previous talks on this material I presented at Layer 1 a few months ago, um, I saw a whole bunch of ridiculous cameras, um, and I have some numbers. Um, the, uh, the first time I, 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 I did this, I found 560 cameras. Um, there was a BBC article scaring everybody on the 7th of February, talking about how creepy it is that people can see cameras on the internet. Um, and then I did, the re I did a retest, and I found 25% less cameras or so. Then US media picked it up, and then the numbers went up. <laughs> and then um, I did the test again uh, just a little while ago, and the, the numbers went up almost to where they were before. So scaring the crap out of people is a great tactic, but it's temporary. Um, it does scale, though, and I'm working on it. So when I have more interesting information with these numbers, I intend to come back and present some more. And if you want to stalk me, this is how you can find me, and I have one minute left. You know why I throw stuff? Oh, no, I'm sorry, like, um, oh, yeah, 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 sorry, not Central America, like the middle of the United States. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, Midwest, sorry. All of those screenshots were mine. I took all of those screenshots. No. That's if you hit that stuff with a browser, then that's just my Mac, this machine, screenshot, presentation. <laughs> yeah, that's 20 seconds to go. Well, that's it for me.